Hey guys, it's me Sabrina and I'm so sorry. I knew, I know I'd said that I'll keep you up to date on like fashion events and stuff, but this thing's quite well known, so I'm assuming a lot of people went today. And what I'm talking about is Vogue Fashion Night Out. And basically it happens every single year around the September, so the autumn winter um, launch for many stores and it's autumn winter, well, it's fashion week. Um, so yeah, so today New Bond Street turned into a pedestrian only zone. There's loads of streets that actually takes part. So South Morton Street takes part, um, Old Bond Street takes part, and some of the st the stores on Oxford Street itself actually take part. So um, I no longer work in the West Ends, which is a bit annoying, but I made sure I left work on time because I said to them, look, I'm going to work night out or fashion night out. Um, but yeah, it was really, really good. I met my friends down there. We first, we started off in Tony Birch, which is an American brand and really known for the shoes. So the, the pumps with the T, it's like a gold um, emblem on the front and it's like TT, so like two T's uh, facing each other kind of thing. Um, they actually do clothes as well. It's their first season, or second season, sorry, of clothes. So um, that was really, really interesting. And outside there, they had like this food, and it's called street food, and it was amazing. We queued for about 15 minutes, but it was so nice. I had like the grill, grilled crispy chicken salad with um, an eaten mess dessert and a drink, and it was all free. That is why I love Vogue Night Out. <laughs> it's like free drink, free champagne, free, you know, food, nibbles, ice cream, chocolate, well, you name it, it's free and it's there. Um, different people do different things. So we stayed at Tony Birch for a bit. That was really, really good. And it was really nice to look at their collection as well. It's very simple. Um, if I'll leave some links below if you are interested in that in Tony Birch. And um, she, I think that she's very popular in America. It's pretty new here. And to get like, you know, a site on New Bond Street is really, really cool. And so from Tony Birch, we moved on to Hermes. Yes, last year I lucked out. We was like two people from getting the goodie bag this year. And I was just like to my friend, listen, we're going in that queue early. We're getting in there quick. And the wait time wasn't too bad, it was probably about 20 minutes, it was moving. So inside they had this kind of 50s theme, which is really, really cool. So um, I got a little, uh, it's like 50s rockabilly, and um, they had swing dancers outside, they had swing um, band, it was really, really cool. And I got, like, they had this opportunity to get, like, um, do you remember that when you was a kid, you used to do these, like, rub-on tattoos? But mine actually looks quite real, I think, I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> so there was that and there was the opportunity to take a picture me and my friend took a picture and they like actually gave you her most scarves yeah <laughs> they gave you her most scarves to pose in and then you had to give them back which was like oh i'm gonna keep scarves so i had mine in my hair um which was really cool because the guy was like oh my gosh you got my initial and it's like s yes. and he's like yeah i gotta do something with this hair he's like yes i've got to put it in the hair so he was pretty cool so from her mess um the goodie bag was these i just like goodie bags i'm sorry <laughs> you know um Especially when they're coming from places like that. It's like collector's item. So in in the bag, I mean, you had some of the tattoos that they were um, putting on people in the store, which was quite fun, you know, uh, little things like that. And then the second thing that's inside is um, this, which is called Knotting Cards. And... Um, comes in a really nice box and on the back I haven't opened them as yet but on the back there are little cards and how to tie their scarves in different ways so as you can see there um saying to plait three different scarves which is really cool and um, we moved on from there into like loads of other places got some free drinks got some free more free food canapes and stuff and then we saw the beast which was the mulberry cube Yes, Mulberry was crazy. Um, I don't know if anybody went last year, but they were actually giving um, goodie bags out. And they were really, really... I can't remember what was inside. I didn't get one, so, so I was annoyed. Um, but this time again, I was like, yes, I need to go. But they're, they're so cool. It's 
like a movie crowd. Sorry. Um, so I, they weren't giving them away this year. They were gift with purchase or um, prize draw. So I've got a prize draw actually. So and I never win anything. Um, so yeah, that's the Mulberry one, which is um, you see, Mulberry loves fashion night out. And it's got the autumn winter um, thing. Um, and the little monster on the back is part of their theme, obviously, for the autumn winter launch. And if you haven't had a chance to watch it, watch it. It's amazeballs. Like, it is actually amazing. Uh, and in store, it's gorgeous. Like, they've got all this hair. Um, I'm not quite... It's not... Um, what's that word? It's not Mongolian hair. Or, not Mongolian. What's it? What's that? I can't remember. Um, the one that's quite curly. And it's like... Oh, my, I've got a scarf over there that I'm looking at right now. Um, that is that kind of hair. So, inside, you've got stickers. I don't know. what What's the deal with stickers? Are they trying to bring us back to our use? Um... Uh, da, 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 da. What else? Just lost all my rings in the bag. Oh, this I love. I'm gonna do a video with just this. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, what else did I get? Oh, nail rocks. So I might do a tutorial on this, considering I am a nail person. I love my nails. Um. What else? Now, if anybody uses Le, per Le Perrier, sorry, it's a Swiss a Swiss um, skincare make, this stuff is really expensive and this is meant to be their skin caviar liquid lift. So, you know, left in my face. Um, what else? Hotel Chocolat. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I love a crown. And oh, I don't, I can't find my um, oh, Kiehl's. Get some Kiehl's um, moisturizer, pretty cool. Um, and me and my friend did this really cool thing, it's called Flip Chart. So basically, we did like a kind of a sketch almost, and they printed out these little books for us. And they were, um, let me see if I can, oh, I can't find it. Ooh. Walk with me. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Oh, what did I do with it? Oh, here it is, I found it. So basically, it looks like that. And uh, let's see if I can do this. Um, let me put you here. And we... Okay, go. <laughs> it's... So cool. That's my best friend, Delina. I'm just do it one more time. Okay, as you can tell, we're big kids, so we really enjoyed that. Um, but yeah, it was a really nice night. Um, nice to see some of the collections if you haven't seen them already from the catwalks. Um, and just kind of just be B and uh, there is a lot of trend spotting to be done there if obviously people come out in their glad rags people go crazy and some of the outfits I saw today I'll never forget <laughs> but yeah thanks for watching this is my mini vlog I'm sorry I've spoke for so long but yeah thanks for watching me bye oh if you get a chance to go next year I promise I will give a heads up because it only happens in September it doesn't happen for the f the February um fashion week so yeah. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.